So the Shanghai Municipal Government has just released the latest information concerning the two new local cases. What we know so far is that the two are a married couple. The husband works at Shanghai's Pudong Airport as a member of the security staff for cargo transportation. It's worth pointing out here that 12 days ago, uh, when Shanghai reported its first locally transmitted COVID-19 case in month, that case was also a cargo handler. So. Experts today once again reminded the public of the risk of imported cases, in particular relation to the logistics industry. Now to the wife, she works at Shanghai's Pudong Hospital, uh, where she first sought medical help after developing symptoms of fever and, and sore throat. And on the same day, she was confirmed with COVID-19 infection. Now the hospital is subject to closed circuit management, where the outpatient and emergency departments have both suspended their services all the residing patients and staff are being quarantined and tested. In the close contacts, uh, about 86 of them, of the couple, are also being quarantined and tested. Uh, the, the school where their daughter goes to uh, is, has also switched to online teaching. Now, as you can see, the response to the newly discovered cases has been quite rapid in Shanghai. Overnight, they were, uh, they were confirmed last night, and overnight, uh, nearly 8,000 test samples have been submitted and so far more than 4,000 of them have come out, the, the test results, and they've come out negative. But according to authorities, these two newly discovered cases have no direct contact or relation with the, the one confirmed 12 days ago. So uh, sporadic cases, as experts say, will be unavoidable as winter comes and the second wave of infection spreading around the world. And it's important for the public to keep practicing personal hygiene.